All right, in the previous lessons, we explored how to use our string methods on columns within our data frame. And in this lesson, we'll talk about using these string methods on our index labels and our column labels at the top of our data frame. Let's begin by executing our code to import our Chicago CSV. And what I'm actually going to do here is add an additional tweak here to make this a little, a little bit more meaningful. Rather than using our generic numeric index that pandas automatically generates, I'm going to set our name column as our data frame index. And I can do that with our index call parameter to the read CSV method. To that parameter, I can give an argument of a string with a column name. I'm actually going to use the name column on our left here. And once I add this little chunk of code in, it's going to set this column as our index. And when we execute this with the tail method, we'll see the last three rows of our data frame. So let's talk a little bit about using these string methods on our index first. So that's this collection of labels right here. So as you may recall, we do have an attribute called index. Like if I do chicago.index, that's going to give me an array, or a list, if you want to think of it in Python terms, of the uh, index labels, which in this case are the 32,000 names of our employees. Now, upon this index array, I can actually call all of our familiar string methods. And it's going to be the exact same as when we call them on regular columns. We just have to remember to include that .str prefix. So let's say I want to begin with the method we introduced in our last lesson, strip. So I'm going to do .str .strip. That's going to ensure that there's no white space at the beginning or end of each of these names. And after that, I'm going to method chain by calling another string method. So I have to do another .str. And then I'm going to call title, which as a reminder, capitalizes the first character of every uh, word, so to speak, within a string. It isolates these words based on spaces in between them and then capitalizes the first character. So I have to include a set of parentheses for my title method. And when I execute this, it's going to give me a preview of the new array where all of the values within my original index have had those two operations performed on them. Now that I'm satisfied with this preview and how it looks, I can reassign it back to the index. And in order to do that, all I have to do is put an equal sign and assign this right back to that attribute. So Chicago.index and I'm going to overwrite it with what I generate on the right. Now again, this may be a little bit confusing because we have Chicago index equals Chicago index. But remember that everything on the right side of the equal sign takes place first. So it's going to begin at this point where we have uh, Chicago being a data frame with a regular capitalized index. And it's going to take that index, it's going to perform the strip operation, the title operation, it's going to give us the uh, array or list we see here and once that's done once that's generated once that whole operation is complete then it's going to be reassigned to that index attribute and it's going to overwrite the current capitalized values there so if i execute this line of code and then preview let's do the first three rows with the head method i don't know why this is taking a little bit longer than usual but when this loads we'll see that our first three names in the left side have had uh, have been stripped of all white space characters and have been properly titled. The first characters of each subsequent word are uh, capitalized. And the exact same process applies to columns. We'll just have to use the columns attribute. So I have three columns and I can extract them in an array with our columns attribute. There I have position title, department, and employee annual salary. Let's say I want to capitalize all of these. I'm going to call the upper method. As with the index, we do have to include that str prefix, then the name of the method that we want we want to call, which is upper. I'm going to execute this. And remember, you should always proceed sequentially in Jupyter Notebook. It's much easier than guessing and, and just assuming you're going to be right. You can proceed here step by step. So extract first the names, then perform the operation with the string method, and only then, once you're satisfied, assign back. So now I can see my new index, or rather my new list or array of the capitalized column headers. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to copy this and just assign it back to that columns attribute. Again, this is going to take place first. The right side is going to generate my new array, and then I'm going to take that array and use it to overwrite my existing column 
name values. And now when I do Chicago Head again, cross my fingers for a little bit faster load time, thank you, uh, we can see that the column headers are now all in uh, capital letters due to that upper method. So as you can see, string methods on index labels and column labels are just as easy as you would imagine. Just utilize those index and columns attributes and then reassign back to them when you're done with all of your operations.